Okay, uh, I'm just going to give you a five minute uh, run through of the International Technology Alliance in Network and Information Sciences. This is a research program that uh, we've been running uh, on behalf of the Ministry of Defence in the UK uh, and the Army Research Lab in the US with ETS running the UK side of it and our colleagues in IBM Research handling the other side. It started in May 2006 and is running for uh, until May 2016. Originally started off as a five-year research program in fundamental sciences, uh, but uh, the customers were so pleased with the way that we've been uh, working on it that it was extended for a further five years. So the important thing that it's uh, an international collaboration uh, program which links the uh, scientists from the two UK and US governments uh, together with a consortium uh, from industry and academia. It's very strong on collaboration and we're measured by the, uh, the, the, um, the customers in terms of the quality of the collaboration that takes place, not only between industry, government and academia, but between the US and the UK as well. And this has been seen as being an exemplar for this kind of research program. It's the only research program of its type between the US and the UK, uh, and so far it's been very successful. It's all about fundamental research. So because of the university involvement, everything is open, uh, published, but there are opportunities to be able to lift that research, either in the US or the UK, into higher technology readiness levels, and as the program has increased over, over the years, or ex gone over the years, then transition has become an extremely important part of the work. So what's really driving the research agenda? Those of you that sort of follow what's going on in a sort of uh, geopolitical sense uh, and from a technological sense will see these particular uh, military sort of environments and situations and the sort of the impact that, that technology can actually have on that. So these are the sort of key things which are occupying the two governments, uh, researchers, and have, have sort of governed our work. So with these particular focuses, we're looking at how can we work in a coalition environment, how can we use technology to support the formation of communities inside those uh, coalition environments, uh, be able to share information and decision making between them. So in the first five years, we had four main technical areas of interest. The sort of theories behind networks, the low-level understanding of how networks actually work, particularly in the early stages of homogeneous networks, but as time has gone by into hybrid networks. Secondly, how do we actually make those networks secure? Thirdly, how do we then move information around those networks? And then finally, how do we then bring the human into the decision-making processes that, that these networks allow. In the second five years, these have been sort of brought together into now into sort of uh, heterogeneous networks in, in the sort of hybrid networks and much more focus on the users in the loop to actually engender this improvement in what's referred to as the data to decision making process. So what's really been achieved? Well, we've come up and you'll see some of the, in the, some of the demonstrations some of the uh, ideas that we've been working on. We've come up with new ideas on information federation through the GAIN database. The idea of having service buses out at the edge of the network in very unreliable environments through the information fabric. The work on computing on uh, encrypted data. Um, work on human computer interactions using controlled English. Being able to use the same vocabulary to interact with humans as we can use to control computers processing at the edge of the network, taking the ideas uh, that we've seen in the development of cloud technologies into micro clouds to work closer to the edge of the network, policy-based security as well. Um, and there are many, many more in that sense as well. And we even got a mention on the White House website when uh, David Cameron was over there last year. So all in all, the feedback that we're getting is it's been extremely successful. So as I found that on the web by accident, Thank you very much for your attention.